Hey guys, this is Shivani and this is my first YouTube video and I'm really very, very excited to be on YouTube. So today in this video, I'm going to answer a million dollar question that whether I fall into the category of vegetarian or non-vegetarian. Friends, many of us, probably majority of us are confused regarding this question. So today in this video, I'm going to dispose of this burning question. Friends, if you like my video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up below and do comment and subscribe to my channel. We all are aware from where eggs come from. They come from poultry farms. So first of all, I'll let you know the condition of hens in the poultry farms. Four of hens are kept in a cage of just two square feet. Just imagine yourself in the same situation. If you're kept in a very small room with four other persons, will you be able to spend your whole life in that? Not at all, not even for a week. But these hens have to spend their whole fucking life in this jail. Just imagine their situation regarding this. As goods come out from the machine, in the same way, eggs come out from the hens every day. Not only this, they even cut off the edges of their beaks which is known as deep eking and even their feathers so that these hens do not fight and kill each other. The hen lays the eggs, can see it but cannot touch or feel it as such an arrangement is made that as soon as she lays the egg, it automatically goes down into the grill place below. Guys, after all, a mother is a mother. The mother always wants a baby. Similarly, the hen always wants her egg, wants to feel it, wants to hatch it. And so she fears us to take the egg but is totally helpless. With the rise of each dawn, due to injections and special diets, the pain they experience is equivalent to the pain that a woman experienced while giving birth to a 5-month-old baby. Imagine the pain that these hens have to experience every day. Now here are the points which clear out that eggs are vegetarian or non-vegetarian. In the womb of the hen, when the egg is developed, its actual size is very small as compared to the egg that she throws out. So can non-living organisms be developed in the uterus? Oh no, the sign says no basically two types of non-living organism one which was once alive and second which was once alive and is not alive at present in the uterus of the woman when the five month old baby is delivered it is not alive but that doesn't mean it was not alive once due to lack of nutrition and proper time period the egg is not alive at present but it was alive once if we assume that anything formed without the sexual intercourse of male and female organisms in, is non-living then the ants frog etc should also be known as non-living organisms in the generation of test tube baby, when the egg is produced without the intercourse of hen. So isn't science getting insulted over in this case? So here were the points which clear out that eggs are 100% non-vegetarian.